The Japanese government says it will quickly decide on whether to evacuate more people from areas around the Fukushima plant where radiation levels exceeding the national limit have been found. We want to act on the cautious side in protecting the health of the residents. We want to act on the cautious side in protecting the health of the residents. Accumulative exposure levels in parts of Date and Minamisoma cities exceed the 20 millisieverts per year limit set by the government. The areas are outside the current evacuation zone. Fukuyama met with the Minamisoma mayor at the prime minister's office on Thursday to discuss the situation. Residents are worried about the situation. Some even expect to evacuate. I have asked the government to consider their wishes. I have asked the government to consider their wishes. The operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has announced details of their plans to filter more than 100,000 tons of water contaminated with highly radioactive substances. Tokyo Electric Power Company reported how they're going to proceed with the job to the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency on Thursday. About 500 tons of contaminated water is accumulating every day within the reactor structure because they kept injecting fresh water to cool the facilities. And this means TEPCO needs to decontaminate 1,200 tons of the water daily. The power company says it will separate oil from contaminated water before transferring it to U.S.-made equipment that absorbs radioactive cesium using minerals like zeolite. The water will then be transferred to French-made equipment that absorbs radioactive substances using chemicals. TEPCO says the devices will reduce the concentration of radioactive substances in the water to one thousandth to one ten thousandth of the current level. TEPCO says the devices will reduce the concentration of radioactive substances in the water to one thousandth to one ten thousandth of the current level. TEPCO also plans to remove salt from the decontaminated water before storing it into the tanks to recycle as a coolant. The firm plans to obtain the consent of the agency to commence filtering and then test the equipment for about a week before starting operations around next week. TEPCO says it will use facilities at the plant to store radioactive waste that results from the filtering process. TEPCO says it will use facilities at the plant to store radioactive waste that results from the filtering process, but the utility has not decided how to decontaminate the waste. But the utility has not decided how to decontaminate the waste. The leftover waste would be completely new to experts in Japan. They would have to research from scratch how to treat it. The situation is not stable at all. The agency says the water will be kept in storage while processing methods and legislative steps are considered in what will likely be a very long process. Get the problems. I'll take care of the problems. They're going to love waiting for it. It's a massacre. Soil samples from around Fukushima Prefecture have revealed concentrations of radioactive strontium. Experts are urging the government to increase the number of observation points so as to clarify the spread of radioactive substances. Japan's science ministry conducted a survey for radioactive substances at 11 locations in 10 municipalities from late March to mid-May. You have any idea who our boss is? Nope, but a hundred people surveyed, number one answers on the board. Name the douchebag who's in charge. It says that strontium-90 was detected in all 11 locations. In Namie Town, the reading stood at 250 becquerels per kilogram of soil, while in Itate Village, the reading was 120 becquerels of 120 becquerels per kilogram. The readings in the other locations were between 2 and 18 becquerels. Strontium-90 is generated during the fission of uranium in fuel rods in reactors. With a comparatively long half-life of 29 years, the radioactive substance poses a risk of accumulating in the bones if inhaled because its properties are similar to those of calcium. If this happens, it could cause cancer. The ministry says the survey revealed that strontium was detected even in the city of Fukushima, about 60 kilometers from the disabled nuclear power plant. The Nuclear Safety Commission says the detected doses of strontium were minimal. 
It says the substance does not pose any immediate health threat. Well, you're not serious, are you? However, Dr. Osamu Saito, a radiation expert at a hospital in Fukushima City, says even though only small quantities of strontium-90 were detected in the survey, it still poses a high health risk because it can accumulate in the bones. They won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die. Clear safety officials from more than 30 countries have agreed on the need for safety inspections at all nuclear power plants currently in operation around the world. This is in order to prevent accidents like the one in Fukushima. The officials gathered in Paris on Wednesday for a meeting hosted by the Nuclear Energy Agency. The agency is a specialized body within the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. They said the inspections should include reviews of disaster preparedness involving earthquakes, floods and other natural calamities, as well as measures to deal with situations in which emergency power is lost. The participants also agree to review the International Nuclear Event Scale that is used to assess nuclear accidents. This comes after a decision by Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency to raise the severity level of the Fukushima accident, triggering confusion among residents and foreign governments. The agency reassessed the severity of the accident to the highest level of 7, equivalent to Chernobyl. A government panel of seismologists says major aftershocks from the March 11th earthquake could still occur in the sea off the coast of northeastern Japan. At a meeting on Thursday, the government's Earthquake Research Committee examined the impact of the March quake on seismic activities in the country. The panel said that magnitude 7 aftershocks or stronger could hit sea areas off the Pacific coast of northeastern Japan. It said that in some sea areas close to the Japan Trench, major quakes accompanied by tsunami could occur. The panel said the risk of earthquakes from some active faults in inland areas is higher than before. One fault straddles Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures. Another runs between the western part of Tokyo and neighboring Saitama prefecture. The panel chief Katsuyuki Abe called for continued caution, saying that although the number of tremors is declining nearly three months since the March disaster, aftershocks could occur. Iran says it will shift part of its uranium enrichment program to a new facility and triple its production by uh, tr uh, production capacity, that is, by March of next year. The plan is to deepen the country's rift with the West. The head of Iran's Atomic Energy Agency, Feridun uh, Abbasi Devani, announced on Wednesday that the process of 20 percent enrichment will be moved from a site in Natanz to a new facility in Qom. Iran has been continuing to produce enriched uranium, which can be used in nuclear weapons, in defiance of four resolutions adopted by the UN Security Council. The United States and the European Union tried to negotiate with Iran about the issue, but the talks broke down in January. The facility in Qom has been raising international concerns since its construction began, became known, that is, in 2009. Iran had said that its uranium enrichment would be conducted under the supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency.